out here ripping Joe's golf cart. I got Joe's cart, and that's Joe. I'm gonna try to pass him. Going to Joe's new house. I think we got, yeah, this thing's dead. Oh, the wind got us. Holy crap. Alright, Joe's in place. Can't get in yet. Your bat your batteries are almost dead. Yeah, it was like 37 volts. Oh, that's weird. Yep. That's surprising actually. It's 45 stopped and then about 36, 37 when you floored. So it needs a charge. Guys, welcome back to the channel, and you can see right here that we have a bunch of parts for the golf cart. This is the 70 volt lithium ion conversion for the club car and also the AC motor conversion for the club car. We're going to be unboxing all that today. But first, before we do that, we need to get this motor and controller out because it is sold. So you're going to see that next when Joe Dukes of Duval and I take the motor and controller out of this beast on supercar street racing. Welcome back to the channel. We got Dukes of Duval over here disassembling the golf cart. So today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out this motor and this controller because we have somebody that's coming over to buy it. So once we get this motor and controller out, we got a whole bunch of boxes up there ready to convert this thing to lithium ion and 70 volt. First things first, we'll get the subwoofer out, we'll get the motor out, we'll get the controller out, and in about an hour, We'll have someone here coming to pick up the stuff and we can put that however much money he's going to give me towards the $6,000 worth of 70 volt lithium iron sitting right up there. So what do you think? Should we get to work? Let's get it done. Let's do this. Yeah, All right, guys. So we got this Curtis controller. So this is probably the original controller and solenoid and uh, most likely had been programmed because the cart would do 30, 32, 33 max. So we're going to go ahead and get this out of here and document what we're doing and then hopefully figure out how to put everything back in in the future. We'll be taking out the charge port. The entire charge port and the charge port housing will come out so we'll have to remove these uh, hex bolts here. This whole panel will loosen up. We'll be able to pull that controller or that charge port out and then there'll be a female, a uh, male, male plug for standard extension cord. You plug your extension cord right into it and you have an onboard charger that sits here and this bay will be mostly empty and we'll shed a couple hundred pounds we'll be able to do whatever we want with the bay so what do you say we get the uh the uh controller out of here man let's do it all right so what uh what do we need eight uh i think it's well eight mil yeah try an eight mil all right.
Guys, we are back in the garage at Supercar Street Racing and you saw a few minutes ago that we have removed the controller here. You saw us do that in the video and we have also removed the motor, which was not fun. That thing is very heavy. Getting that new one in is going to be interesting. But over here now, we have the Eco Battery 70 volt conversion kit for the club car. And we have already picked it up and figured out that it weighs a lot. It is something like 105 pounds. And here is a look at the massively expensive Eco Battery. Let me take you guys out of the tripod so you can see the 70 volt eco battery conversion here. There's a good look at it. We aren't sure about mounting it yet, but I did, the guy did say it would directly mount to the club car, but I haven't seen any way to do that yet without modifying the club car um, battery tray. But regardless, it's going in there either way. So that is the eco battery, 70 volt lithium ion, $3,700 battery and the lights just went out. All right, so we took a look at the Eco battery here, the 70 volt Eco battery, and we can get that thing back in here. Maybe. And take a look at the next box here. This says Novitas on it. I have not opened it yet. It is open because someone opened it in my crew. But this says Navitas. And let's see what's in it. Ah, we have the Navitas AC motor controller here. So this is for converting the cart to AC. And then I don't know what's in this box. Let's see. Oh, nice cable, uh, some connectors, and the on the fly programmer are inside of this next box. The programmer is right here, but you can actually use Bluetooth to do that. And we will package this back up. And move on to the next box. Not Xbox, next box. All right guys, this box is open. We took a look at this already, but this is the solenoid. And there you see on the side. This is a, I believe, 400 amp solenoid. This is the Eco Battery install kit for the precedent. This is what it says. I have not opened it. We have something inside of this bag. I'm not sure what. That might be the battery mounting kit. That's probably the battery mounting kit that we didn't know about. All right, we have the Eco Battery mounting kit opened here, and I am just popping open this plastic condom here to see what this is, because we were wondering how you mount it. And it is definitely a rail kit for the Eco Battery. There are the mounting rails for the battery. It looks like very nice powder coated pieces. It 
This is exactly what we were looking for here. We will put these back in the packaging now. Keep everything nice for the install process. And what is next in here? We have this box next. And this is the charging port. So it converts to onboard charger. And the last box we have here might be the gauge. There's a charging gauge. It is. This is the charge and voltage indicator panel that goes and mounts on the front. So we have to figure out where we're gonna put that actually. And that is all in that box. And there's two more big boxes to open. Here is the next box here. This is a very heavy box. There are some screws. Look like some wiring caps, some eyelets, and inside here we have the Navitas 5 kilowatt AC motor with the beautiful color-coded voltage wires here. This thing looks awesome. I am so hyped for this. Hopefully you guys can completely see that. Let's zoom in, but there is the Navitas. This is the best motor you can buy from Navitas or Navitas or however you want to pronounce them. Five kilowatt motor, this thing is going to absolutely rip. And that's, is that everything? Oh, we have one more box after that. Put this thing back into its box. <clears throat> ah, this is the eco battery charger. It says it on the side, but I, what I have not seen is the 12 volt voltage reducer. Yeah, it was supposed to come with a voltage reducer. I do not see that. This is the built in charger. Let me contact the company about where the voltage reducer might be. That's interesting. Yep, this is the onboard charger, so you no longer keep one in the garage, you keep this on the cart. So yeah, there is something missing. The voltage reducer is not here. So I'm gonna give them a shout and see where that is. got off the phone with Ryan about the missing item and apparently um, Eco Battery has been neglecting to send this part out for the last couple of orders he did so he is going to get the voltage reducer to us. We already have one. I'm hoping it will accept 70 volts. It says 60 max on the and this actually says 48 on the endpoint on the uh, input here. I'm hoping it'll go up to 70 because it does say 60 online, so I don't know. We might burn it up and I don't really care, but um, the new voltage reducer, the 70 volt voltage reducer is a 30 amp. This is a 60 amp, so we might have to buy a 70 volt voltage reducer for the stereo system. So we are missing a part and we have to go get the cables today. They are in the mail to the wrong place, just like all this stuff was shipped to the wrong place. So I'm keeping an eye on the mail for that. And guys, this has been part two of the 70 volt lithium ion conversion video on Supercross Street Racing. I hope you guys subscribe and I will make a playlist for this and we will see you guys next time.